you know Leicestershire a little already, and you're in third, which is a third. What is your impression of Leicestershire so far? What I know of it, I know that it is a flourishing, incredibly multicultural, diverse city that is setting, is one of the key models in this country for community spirit and community development, that is full of life and that its rural areas, I do know, are stunningly beautiful, immensely impressive and wonderful places uh, with strong village communities. Um, that it's just a really exciting part of England and produces some fantastic people. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to getting to know it a bit better. Can you talk to us about what you most hope to achieve from your visit? The main point of all these visits is to um, learn, for me. Leicester is one of the number of dioceses that is growing in number, growing in depth of spiritual life. I've got a lot to learn there. I want to learn about its community relations, how that links in to its witness to Jesus Christ, its very strong faith. And then the other side of the coin is, I suppose, I hope to be able to encourage, to speak of Christ to people who may be, for one reason or another, interested to see the Archbishop of Canterbury. I'm always slightly baffled by that, but they come along, so it's a great opportunity to witness to Christ myself. And it's a great opportunity to, um, both for the diocese and myself, to broaden our horizons a bit. Your visit to Leicestershire is called the Archbishop's Big Conversations. Uh, the Bishop of Leicester is encouraging ongoing conversations after your visit. Can you tell us your response to that? I think one of the most powerful parts of the life of the Church that God has given us by the gift of his Spirit after the ascension of Jesus was the creation of community. And communities of all sizes, whether they're families, churches, towns, whatever, but particularly churches, ch church groups, flourish in conversation. And I hope that out of these conversations is a new confidence in the good news we have as witnesses of Jesus Christ. Because in conversation we share our fears, our hopes, our prayers, our thoughts. Our fears about the future, our fears about our own faith, the things that touch us, our hopes, the issues around us in society we talk about, and we seek to bring into that conversation what it is to be a Christian disciple in this place. And that's transformative because the Holy Spirit shows up, God shows up in the most powerful way. We come out of those conversations different to how we went in. It's really exciting. I'm really thrilled it's happening.